In the second part, we're going to look at how to locate books from our sample reading list on the library catalogue. Remember, library staff are always on hand to help you find what you need, but you also want to be self-sufficient and to be able to find what you need yourself. So the library catalogue on an is an online searchable catalogue of all DIT libraries holdings. You can search the catalogue from anywhere with an internet connection. You can search all their collections, so this means you can use this catalogue to locate books, ebooks, newspapers, past student dissertations, journals, magazines, music scores, and so on. Let's look at the quickest way to find a book from our sample reading list. You can find the library catalogue on the library website at www.dit.ie forward slash library. You can also search the library catalogue on open access computers in each of the DIT library sites. So let's look at some tips and tricks to getting your hands on the book and edition that you want. The three most important pieces of information you need to take from your reading list are the author surname, the title of the book and the edition. Note, the library always keeps at least three copies of a textbook in stock if it's available. So that means we will have the latest edition and the previous two editions in stock if they are available. We don't provide a book for every single student in a class. If copies of the latest edition are out on loan, you can borrow the previous edition that is available. Although it is important to check which edition it is that your lecturer wants you to read, there does not often tend to be a huge difference between content and textbook. Let's take a look at our sample reading list again. So looking at the books we need, we simply need to make a note of the author's surnames and the titles and the edition. For the first one, it's straightforward. We search for Wood and the title Communication in Our Lives and we're looking for the eighth edition. The second book below that has three authors. It is enough to just select one author's surname. So in this case, we search for Holiday and the title Intercultural Communication and the second edition. And note that we don't need to search for the subtitle of the book, just the first part of the title. Our third book on the top right in the yellow square has an editor rather than an author. In this case, you simply search for the editor's surname as you would the author's. So we search for Jensen and the title A Handbook of Media and Communication Research, and we're looking for the second edition. The last example in the green square is slightly more complicated. Your lecturer wants you to read the chapter by P. Scannell. However, if you search for Scannell and the chapter title on the library catalogue, you won't get any results. You must look for the author and title of the book that contains that particular chapter. So in this case, we search for Jensen and the title A Handbook of Media and Communication Research. So to find each of these text, textbooks or readings on the library catalogue, we simply need to isolate this information and start searching. Let's look at this in action. So this is the DIT website. To find the library website, you simply go to the tab up here at the top and select library. So the library catalogue is located in this grey square on the library homepage. So we always recommend that you go to advanced search. So you have your search boxes here. So again, remember that you just need to look for author surname and the title of the book. So thinking back to our sample reading list examples, our first example, the author's name was Wood. And the title is called Communication in Our Lives. That's all the information you need to put in and you simply hit submit. So it brings up four matches, just because we have more than one edition in stock. So again, this is where it's important to take note of what edition you need. So we needed the eighth edition, so this is here at the top. So to expand the record, we simply click on the title and it will tell us how many copies we have and in which libraries they're located in. So each line indicates that there's a copy available. So at this point, you need to make note of location, the call number and the status. Location will tell you which library is housed in and whether it's available to borrow. So library use means library use only. Lending means you can borrow it. Here we have the call number. So this is the shelf mark where the book is shelved. We'll explain more in detail in part three of this webinar. And then we have status. So whether it's for library use only or if it's available, it's available to borrow. If the book is out on loan, it will have a due date. If you see a record with a tab like this, if you click on it, it will expand the record further and tell you if there's additional copies available. Let's search for our second example. So this was an author with, mo with more than one author. So again, you just need to select one author. So in this case, it was Holiday. And then we need to 
type in our title in the second box. So intercultural communication. If you think back to our reading list, this book also had a subtitle, but again, you just need to put in the first part of the title. Hit submit, and again, it will give us two matches. We need to look at what edition we needed. So we wanted the second edition. We click on the title. In this case, it tells us there's two copies available in our Cahill Bowie Street Library. Again, take a note of your call number and the status, whether it's available to borrow or not. Let's look at our third example, which was an edited textbook. So again, treat the editor like you would an author. You just type in the author's surname or the editor's surname in this case. And then we put in the title. So a handbook of media and communication research. Yes. And again, we need to check what edition we need. So we want the second edition. If I expand the record, I can see there's four copies available to loan, three copies in Angel Street, and one copy in Bolton Street Library. So going to our third example then, which was a chapter in an edited book. So again, this is where it gets a bit um, complicated. So if we think back to our reading list, the author of the chapter was called Scanlon. The title of the chapter was History, Media and Communication. So you see, because this is a chapter within a book, it's not listed on the catalogue, so you see you'll get no results. So it's important to remember to look for the, the editor or author of the book that contains that particular chapter. So in this case, it was Jensen, a handbook of media and communication research. So again, to remind you, if you're looking for a particular book and you can't find it, just come up to the desk in any of the libraries and the library staff will be more than happy to help you find what you need. So let's go to our third part now on how to find a book on the shelf.